So we got a John Deere zero turn. Customer says, I don't know how, but I left the gas cap off and left it in the rain. Now it won't start. Imagine that. So what did he do? He filled it up with gas. So you may have had, maybe there was some water in your gas can or for whatever reason you ended up with water in your machine. I don't care if it's a zero turn, riding mower, does not matter. Uh, these ones that are the fuel tank, got a fuel pump, they're hard to get to. I'll show you a few different ways to get that tank cleaned out and get the water out. And we'll also address the carburetor. Well, as you can see, it's kind of difficult to get the carburetor. So off camera right quick, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this rear panel here and I'll show you what we can do to disconnect the carburetor and get that water out of there. All right, so we got our panel off the back. Now I can actually see the carburetor. What we're gonna look for first, let's undo this wire for the solenoid. And it's always stuck. There it goes, ow injury all right i'm gonna take one of these little pig mats put it under here generally if it's gas it's gonna soak right in this pig mat if it's water it's gonna beat up now this wrench i just took an old junk wrench well any wrench is not junk but anyway i just filed this thing down to make it really really thin because some cases you need that to, to get in here on stuff like this pop that loose we're going to screw it out what we're going to do here this is going to drain the bowl and there's almost nothing in there huh okay don't drop it well this was a no start is why it come in i'm going to take this back off that's what he told me it was a no start so well number one there's no fuel in the carburetor maybe he doesn't have water either way i'm going to show you how to do it and get the water out. What I'm doing here is pulling the fuel line off the fuel pump that goes to the carburetor. Let's find out if there's any fuel pumping out of the fuel pump. Has that got water in it? No, doesn't seem to. All right, let's crank it over and we're gonna watch for fuel to come out right there. Okay, y'all watching? Watch for me. We are not pumping any fuel. Huh, I wonder why. Told you I got an injury. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull this clamp off right here. This is the fuel line to the fuel tank. And let's see if there's any fuel coming out of there. All right, what I'm gonna do, it should siphon itself. If it doesn't, I'll show you how to get it out. So let's point this down almost nothing coming out of there so i see a bunch of water and trash in that fuel filter too i can look and see in this fuel filter it looks like water to me i'm gonna turn it down let's get something to come out of here on the mat uh-oh get it everywhere still don't see any water but i see it in the fuel filter Let's see if we can get these clamps off here and we're gonna pull this filter off. That bad boy is on there. Well, it's broke now, isn't it? Let's see what we're dealing with here. That thing is dirty. But I still see if you look, I can get you right there. That right in the bottom. That's water. A lot of times those are a booger to get those little pieces out of there. So, simple solution. Basically, I'm just going to join this hose to this hose without a fuel filter. And what are you going to do? I'm going to let y'all watch. Let's see if I can do this where to go right on that rug right, or pig mat. And I'm going to set y'all up down here where y'all can see that. And then I'll also show you what I'm going to do on the other side. We're going to force fuel out.
All right. Take our gas cap off. And I'm going to take a air nozzle here. I'm just going to cut my hand around it. And we're going to put a little pressure in that tank. And we should start seeing fuel come out this side and the other end. Didn't mean to make that big of a mess. All right, let's see if some came out on the other side. Nothing, it's just dripping. We've got something stopped up, folks. Okay, so what we're going to try is see how big of a mess we can make. I'm going to blow back through this hose. What's, oh, yeah, it's blowing back that way now, huh? So, these little battery-operated pump. I'm going to get some of this fuel out of this thing and see that little thing pumps pretty quick huh because i want to see where i don't get a mess I, i'm just tired of it blowing out of that tank let's just get some of this out of here all right let's try this again cut my hand over it blow some air are y'all watching that other camera Oh, we're getting some flow now, buddy. Ooh, we. Now that's what I call siphoning. And we're gonna see how much water we see as this drains out, y'all. Look at there, look at there. And you can use folders or Maxwell House. It don't matter. All right, so we got good flow coming out in the Maxwell house. I'm going to pump out from this side so we can get everything out of this fuel tank. Hopefully, I don't overfill the Maxwell house before I uh, get this dry. Okay, we about got it all out with this pump. I hear it. Eww. Sweet. So we're going to take the bore scope, go down in this fuel tank, and let's see what we can see. If I can get this to where y'all can see. Look, there's leaves. And if you look on the screen there, so I can get the camera back over there. See, that's more trash, another leaf, and that little pile right there near the end of that tube. That looks to be a little water. All right, let's try this again. Does that look any better now? I can't drive this camera here very good, camera. All right, got that out. I'll show you how I got that all cleaned out of there. I did it with my homemade out of PVC pipe and a vacuum pump. Uh, oil gas extractor and basically went and vacuumed the bottom of the tank with it All right, let's get us a new fuel filter on here now that the tank is cleaned out And what we're gonna do Is we're just gonna hook this back up to the fuel pump and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna prime all this air out of there basically the same way that we started out, these have to go back in these holders and everything to make it like it's supposed to be. But let's hook this up. And let's go pour some fresh gas in it and see if we can get it primed up. All right. Now, we don't have to prime it. You can just sit there and crank on it, crank on it. Eventually, it will pick it up. I believe that water had some... Uh, had this thing stopped up, or that filter plugged. And then on top of that, I wasn't getting any air pressure in that tank simply because we all saw a little bit come out when it was really full. But you need a little room in there so you can build up some air pressure. So let's see what we can do with this now. All right, so y'all watch right here. Y'all tell me now when some fuel comes out of there, okay? We'll see. I'm gonna be watching that fuel filter too. There we go. Coming in the fuel filter. 
Here. Ooh. I think we got some fuel coming out. All right. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and put this gas cap back on. And let's crank it over, see if we can get it to shoot some fuel out. Right here, I'm not even going to stop the camera. Let's see if the fuel pump's good. Oh, yeah. Darn, that thing tried to crank. All right, let's get our fuel solenoid screwed back in. I guess I better dry that gas off the muffler before I crank it up. Y'all think that's a good idea? Come on. Stupid thing. There it goes. All right. I'll plug the wire back up. That might help, huh? There we go. Hook our fuel line back up. Of course, it's got to run a minute to, or turn over a minute to fill that bowl up. It shouldn't take much there. Well, it don't even have to be full as long as we get some in there. All right, so I got the door shut, but I'm not going to let it run but a second. And uh, we're just going to see if it's going to fire up. <laughs> Tried. <laughs> All right, I'll give it a little choke. Oh yeah, don't go nowhere, don't go nowhere. Stick around a minute. Well, there you go. There's a couple different ways of getting the fuel out of these fuel tanks that are under the seat, whether under the fenders on a rider or whatever. We did find some water and dirt in that fuel filter. Uh, so hopefully this video helps you guys out. The main thing it was, it was not getting fuel to that carburetor. That's why this wouldn't start. We did not find that much water. Uh, so I hope this helps you guys out. Click that subscribe button. Leave us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let us know how you liked the video. Appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you next time.